Hello there. There are good news and some bad news as well that I want to address in this video. A lot of things has happened in the past few weeks. Well, let's start off with the good news. Yesterday, Rolling Stone wrote an article about Fred Wales' Lost Country album and believe it or not, it is actually getting to see the light of the day next year. And this is probably one of the least anticipated things that like if you think about other Beach Boys related lost albums like Adult Child, the Fred Whale country album is a sort of, it's just not spoken that much. Actually, I really don't know much anything about it. I remember hearing about it the first time years ago, but I've never heard anything like, I don't think it's ever been booted. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I have never heard any part of it. Not a single track, nothing. So I have no idea really what that sounds like. And I think that nobody's really heard of it. But I might be mistaken. But anyway, Fred Whale, if you don't know, he was the promoter of the Beach Boys. A young fellow uh, started working with the Beach Boys already in the early 60s. And his idea was to do the first live album, the Beach Boys concert album from 64 that was his idea and you can hear his voice at the beginning of the album and he's just a nice guy and great guy and has a long history with the group and he's not really what i know of he's not really a musician or or a singer but for some reason in the year of 1970 brian got an idea to work with fred uh, on a country album project and they and I'm not really sure who wrote, I think Brian probably wrote the music, I guess. Uh, they did a lot of tracks, like over 10 tracks, and they never got to finish it properly, because around that time Brian was a bit sporadic in the way that he was working. He started, he got an idea and worked on that, and then he kind of just moved on and did another thing, and a lot of things that he did in that period uh, went unfinished. But now, like 54 years, 55 years later, this album is finally getting to see the light of day and it's gonna be executive produced by Brian and I'm not really sure, Rolling Stone wrote a great article on this, I was gonna uh, quote it on this video but it went uh, on this sort of lockdown, <laughs> so you need to be subscribed to Rolling Stone right now as I'm making this video to read that article, it was pretty lengthy and Fred was interviewed and anyway, like it went into high detail in describing sort of what they did back in the day and what they have been doing now because apparently this album has been pretty much finished already and they have even filmed a docu-series on Fred and making of this album. It's a crazy story and I can't wait to see that. Uh, I hope it gets a wide release even though, like as I mentioned, it's a weird little <laughs> side story in the Beach Boys version because it's not really it's not something that people have been waiting or talking about but as this news broke I, I saw a lot of hype about it so I think that you know people probably will be surprised by the quality of it I, I think that way I really hope that, that that's the case because if you think about it, Brian was at his peak, really creative peak around that time period and and uh, personally I really love country music so I, I just can't wait to hear what that really includes and apparently the vocals back in the day were left unfinished but the backing tracks were mostly finished so what they have done now is that they have brought in new guest vocalists and also Fred and Fred uh, did this sort of elder Johnny Cash impersonation or something like that sort of a approach for the material because I don't know I personally really love that sort of easygoing sort of spoken word uh, storytelling voice and, and that sort of thing so you know Bob Dylan-esque thing I, I really dig that personally it's not for everybody but I can't wait to hear the results uh, they didn't uh, Fred didn't yet um, tell who are gonna be the guest vocalists but he said that there's a lot of artists ranging from sort of classic country artists to some younger stars so personally I, I hope that it, it is not going to be a sort of stars and stripes part two thing thing but more like a 
I don't know, like take the best elements of that project and then do something actually creatively interesting of it. But, but I'm really hyped up about it because the material is original, so it's not going to be like Beach Boys covers or anything like that. So very interesting. And I hope Willie Nelson is involved, but who knows. But T-Bone Burnett is involved and, and he's a quality guy, so I'm, I'm fairly convinced that the project is going to is gonna turn out all right. But yeah, that was like the main thing. The other thing is we finally hit 1000 subscribers on this channel and I think I'm going to do a little special sort of subscriber special about that. So, you know, that's so great. And thank you everybody, truly, all you subscribers and viewers. I really just uh, appreciate all of you. And it's great. It's great to see that this channel is growing and then there's growing interest for music related stuff especially Beach Boys related stuff so I, I'm just I'm really happy about that but that's really all I have to say about that right now. The last thing that I gotta address here is the passing of Melinda Ledbetter, Brian's wife. She was a few years younger than Brian and she passed away recently uh, suddenly uh, at least like uh, to the media and fans nobody really knows what's the cause of death but you know we don't even need to know that's a personal thing and you know that's that but we all know fans know and appreciate Melinda for her support for Brian and without Melinda there wouldn't have been Brian Wilson the solo artists the live performer uh, we wouldn't have got the finished smile album and a lot of, like a lot of Brian's great later work we wouldn't have got the 50th anniversary tour or the album. So yeah, I just want to show my like show my respects here and and say that she's gonna be missed. Uh, I always had a huge appreciation for her and I, I re remember her so well in the Wembley show 2012. Brian, Melinda was in the audience. I didn't see her, but apparently she used to go a lot of times with Brian. Sort, sort of tour with Brian and then a lot of fans have stories about her seeing her in the audience and she was apparently always just super nice to fans but I remember remember Brian dedicating Sail on Sailor to her and that was really it but uh, for me she really was a sort of person that ha had a huge strength and, and was super super determined and, and really a sort of savior for Brian and and I really really appreciate the work that she did with Brian to showcase and, and sort of uh, spread the word about mental health. Uh, if you've seen interviews with her uh, and Brian she had a huge deep understa understand understandment uh, of mental health and she really worked a lot to spread that word about it and the sort of stigmas uh, that you know are attached to a lot, of, a lot of mental health issues and you know with Brian obviously so you know she's gonna be missed and uh, I, I really that's really all I can say about that but hey anyway uh, let's get back to the country album thing uh, are you excited about that project? Please let me know in the comments. It really gets me hopeful that one day we're gonna see the release of Adult Child as well and also the Sweet Insanity album, which is awesome. So I, I hope those are in the <laughs> near future as well, but you know, super cool. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you on the next one. Bye bye.